Hey everyone. Okay, remember this week we are going over our Z verse and it's a very short verse. If you want to say it with me, Z, Zion heard and was glad. Psalm 97, 8. Z, Zion heard and was glad. Psalm 97, 8. All right, very good. Yesterday, if you were able to watch, we uh, talked about the parable of the rich young ruler. And today we are going to learn um, about the story of Zacchaeus. Right, so look right here. This will be our first picture. Hopefully you can see that okay. There was excitement in the city of Jericho. Jesus is here, people were saying. Jesus entered through the gates into the city. There he is, someone cried, and throngs of people crowded around the Lord Jesus. But one man in the crowd was troubled because he couldn't see Jesus. Was he blind? No. He was just too short to see over the heads of all of the other people. This short little man had a long name, Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus lived in a big, beautiful home in Jericho. He wore expensive clothes and had lots of nice things, but he had few friends because he was not an honest and truthful man. Zacchaeus was a tax collector who usually collected more taxes from the people than he should have, and he secretly kept the extra money for himself. He really stole their money from them, and the people knew it. Therefore, they hated Zacchaeus. He was not honest, and because he was not honest and was a thief, he became very rich. But down inside of his heart, Zacchaeus was not happy. He knew he did wrong. One day, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming to town. Zacchaeus wanted very much to see Jesus. He had heard that Jesus made six sick people well and that he fed a crowd of people with only a small lunch. The crowds kept gathering along the road following Jesus. Zacchaeus knew that he wouldn't be able to see over all of their heads. He may have felt the same way that you would if you were in a crowd with a lot of big people around you. So, let me hold that back a little bit. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus so much that he ran down the road ahead of the crowd. He ran until he came to a large sycamore tree, and then he climbed into the tree and sat on a limb, waiting for Jesus and the crowd to come down the road. Sitting in the tree, Zacchaeus would easily be able to see Jesus. Slowly, Jesus and the crowd moved down the road, and with the many people all around him, Jesus walked toward the sycamore tree. When Jesus got right under the sycamore tree, he stopped. He looked up in the tree at Zacchaeus and said, Zacchaeus, come down. Today, I am going to your house. Zacchaeus was surprised. Jesus was going to his house? This was more than Zacchaeus could have wished for. Um, in that day, to go to someone's house was a great honor. Zacchaeus hurriedly climbed down out of the tree. How glad he was that Jesus would go to his house. People began whispering to each other. Zacchaeus is a bad man, and Jesus, Jesus should not go to his house. Zacchaeus steals money from us. He makes us pay too much in taxes. The people could not see Zacchaeus' heart, and that he really did not want to be a thief and steal people's money. Though Jesus knew that Zacchaeus was a bad man, he also knew that Zacchaeus wanted to do the right thing and to love God and to have his sins forgiven. Jesus sat in Zacchaeus' home and talked. And while Jesus talked, Zacchaeus became very sorry for all the bad things that he had done. And he said to them, he said to him, Lord, if I've cheated anyone, I will pay him back four times as much as I took from him. And I've decided I'm going to give back half of everything that I own to the poor. Zacchaeus was saying that he would pay back much more money than he had taken from anyone. That day, Zacchaeus believed in Jesus as his savior. And that day, Jesus forgave Zacchaeus for all the bad things that he had done. Isn't it good to know that Jesus loves everybody, even bad people like Zacchaeus? So what, we, what Jesus was, um, was teaching in the story, um, again, he used, well, so Zacchaeus was a tax collector. And as you heard me say at the beginning of the story, um, people in that day really did not like tax collectors. Most of the people were already uh, very poor, didn't have a lot of money. Tax collectors um, wore very fine clothing, um, they made very good money because they took the people's money. They stole the people's money from them. They charged people more in taxes 
than what they really owed, and then they kept the rest of it. And that's exactly what Zacchaeus did. In fact, in that day, uh, tax collectors were seen as like the lowest of the low, like people could not stand tax collectors. So when Jesus comes to Zacchaeus, who was a tax collector, and tells him to come down from the tree and tells him, I'm going to your house today, people started to kind of gossip and talk about that because um, to go to somebody's house in that day was a great honor. And so they couldn't understand why would Jesus go to a tax collector's house? Why would he hang out with a tax collector? And one thing that you'll see in the Bible over and over while Jesus was on the earth is that Jesus said, I have come to heal the sick. Um, the sick are the ones that need a doctor. What he meant by that are um, the, the people that are what you would consider the worst people or people that other people don't want to hang around or be around. Um, Jesus said that forgiveness was for everybody. And you'll see over and over in the Bible that Jesus always went to people that other people left out. And um, that there wasn't anybody too bad for Jesus to forgive. There wasn't anybody too bad that Jesus would not want to spend time with them. Um, a lot of people you'll see um, in the New Testament talked bad about Jesus because he would go hang out with people that other people would say, you shouldn't hang out with those kind of people. Um, they don't have a good reputation or they're bad people. But Jesus came to save those bad people, just like he came to save you and me, because we're all bad in some way. We've all done bad things. And so um, what Jesus wanted to show everybody was, I see Zacchaeus' heart. You see the bad things that he's done, but I see his heart. I see that he he doesn't want to do these things and that he really is sorry for them. And so when Zacchaeus really truly asked for forgiveness for those things, Jesus forgave him, and Zacchaeus became a follower of Jesus. And Jesus wanted um, those of us reading these stories, and even the people that were there when this really happened, he wanted them to understand that he came to bring salvation to the whole world, no matter how bad you think someone is. In fact, the worse someone is, probably the more they need a relationship with Jesus. And so we are to tell other people about Jesus, even if it's someone that you think, oh, well, they, they would never want to get saved or they never would follow Jesus or they're just too bad. They'll never stop doing what they do or being who they are. And that's just not true um, because Jesus called to, was uh, sent here to earth to pay for all of our sins, no matter how bad you think someone is. Um, if you remember when we talked about the resurrection when Jesus was on the cross, you remember that Jesus was on a cross and on each side of him was um, a thief. And they were being hung on the cross for their crimes, and they were not good people. But when one of the thieves asked Jesus for forgiveness and said, Remember me when you go to paradise today, Jesus forgave him instantly. And no matter what that man had done in his life up to that point, he was forgiven. And he was a child of God after that. So just remember that salvation isn't for people that you think are good enough. Salvation is for everybody. Forgiveness is for everybody. Um, so Jesus made a special point to reach out to people that other people didn't think were worth it. All right, guys, I'm going to pray for us, okay? Jesus, thank you so much that your forgiveness is for everyone, that you don't put some of us in a category as not being good enough or not worth forgiveness. And you don't look at people as some people are better than others. You don't look at them at all like that. You came to save people that were hurting and people that were lost and people that were making bad choices. Um, and God, I just pray that you would give us the same compassion and love and heart for those people that other people just kind of say, ooh, I don't want to have anything to do with them. But you're not that way. You've called us to love the whole world, no matter who they are. And I pray that you would help us, um, help us to be able to do that. Help us to see all people the way that you see them. Help us to love all people and help us to bring the truth about who you are to anybody that we talk to, no matter how good or bad we may think that they are. We love you, and we thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.